Welcome to The Mass for Inspiration. The Mass for Inspiration is being brought to you in part by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory Incorporated, 570-788-0977, and HarmonFuneral.com, and by the LaSant Family and Samson Productions. Good morning to all of you, and welcome to this Holy Banquet of the Lord. Let us begin this Holy Mass in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear brethren, let us acknowledge all our sins and failures and ask God's mercy and pardon. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and we praise you, we bless you, we adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us, for you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teaches that you abide in hearts that are just and true, grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling place, dwelling pleasing to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Sirach. If you choose, you can keep the commandments. They will save you. If you trust in God, you too shall live. He has set before you fire and water. To whichever you choose, stretch forth your hand. Before man are life and death, good and evil. Whichever he chooses shall be given him. Immense is the wisdom of the Lord. He is mighty in power and all seeing. The eyes of God are on those who fear him he understands man's every deed. No one does he command to act unjustly. To none does he give license to sin. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who follow the law of the Lord. Blessed are they whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Blessed are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart. Blessed are they who follow the Lord. You have commanded that your precepts be diligently kept. Oh, that I might be firm in the ways of keeping your statutes. Be good to your servant, that I may live and keep your words. Open my eyes, that I may consider the wonders of your law. Blessed are they who follow the Lord. Instruct me, O Lord, in the way of your statutes, that I may exactly observe them. Give me discernment, that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. 
brothers and sisters, we speak a wisdom to those who are mature, not a wisdom of this age, nor of the rulers of this age who are passing away. Rather, we speak God's wisdom, mysterious, hidden, which God predetermined before the ages for all glory, and which none of the rulers of this age knew. For if they had known it, they would not have crucified the Lord of glory. But as it is written, what eye has not seen and ear has not heard and what has not entered the human heart, what God has prepared for those who love him, this God has revealed to us through the Spirit. For the Spirit scrutinizes everything, even the depths of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Blessed are you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth. You have revealed to little ones the mysteries of the kingdom. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have come not to abolish, but to fulfill. Amen. I say to you, until heaven and earth pass away, not the smallest letter or the smallest part of a letter will pass from the law until all things have taken place. Therefore, whoever breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches others to do so will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever obeys and teaches these commandments will be called greatest in the kingdom of heaven. I tell you, unless your righteousness surpasses that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, you shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment. And whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the synodrine. And whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery genes. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen. I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny. You have heard that it was said, you shall not commit adultery, but I say to you, everyone who looks at a woman with lust has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If your right eye causes you to sin, tear it out and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body thrown into Gehenna. And if your right hand causes you to sin, cut it off and throw it away. It is better for you to lose one of your members than to have your whole body go into Gehenna. It was also said, whoever divorces his wife must give her a bill of divorce. But I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, unless the marriage is unlawful, causes her to commit adultery. And whoever marries a divorced woman 
commits adultery. Again, you have heard that it was said to your ancestors, Do not take a false oath, but make good to the Lord all that you vow. But I say to you, Do not swear at all, not by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes means yes, and no means no. Anything more is from the evil one. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. May the words of the Gospel wipe away our sins. Dear friends in Jesus Christ, we are in the sixth Sunday in the ordinary time. And today, the liturgy of the word calls us to reflect and recorrect our way of following God. And we see in Jesus, the new revelation is revealed, the new wisdom is given, and he gives us a new way of living our life. And it is very clear, and he says, that man who follows the commandments, he becomes a greatest in the kingdom of God. And today, he goes beyond the word, the law, and he gives a deep meaning to the law by presenting us the act of murder and act of adultery. He very clearly says, it is not only that a person commits a physical act, but the very moment he is angry with his brother or sister, he is committing adult, uh, murder. And at the same way, if he or she looks with a lustful eye, he or she commits adultery. Yes, my dear friends, Jesus is inviting each one of us to understand the spirit of the law, not the letter of the law. And it is very often in our lifetime, we fail to understand the deep meaning of the law, and we become just like Pharisees. So today, God is giving us challenge to get rid of the old way of law, and accept the new way of law that Christ has taught us. Amen. Let us stand and profess our faith. I believe in one God, the God Father Almighty, Almighty maker creator of heaven and earth. earth. All things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Let us bring all our prayers and petitions. Let us pray for the Holy Mother Church that, guided and inspired by the Holy Spirit, the leaders of the church may lead the church into the right path. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord. hear our prayer. Let us pray especially for each one of us present here that we may be guided and strengthened by the Holy Spirit and able to understand 
the true commandment of God, and we may follow. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for sick and suffering, whom we have promised our prayers. May the healing hand of Jesus touch them and give them comfort and consolation, and also give them the strength to bear the pain, so that they may not lose their faith, but they may remain strong and experience the love of God. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pause for a moment and place all our prayers and petitions. Almighty ever living God, we bring all these prayers and petitions, and if these are in accordance with your will, grant them, Lord. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be God, God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty. Father, may the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of his holy church. May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us, and may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, for you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to these gifts of yours, that by sinning, sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we to give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim, holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, let the dew fall so that they may become for us the body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection, resurrection until you come, come again. again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Joseph our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be caused to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art, art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy, thy name, thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, on earth our cities in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, For the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away, away the sins, sins of the world. world. Have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, God you, take you take away the, the sins, sins of the world. world. Grant, Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am, I am not, not worthy, worthy that you should, should enter in my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep me safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. <coughs> Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go for the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be to, to God. God. The Mass for Inspiration is being brought to you in part by Harmon Funeral Homes and Crematory Incorporated, 570-788-0977 and harmonfuneral.com and by the LaSant Family and Samson Productions. Sun Productions new website ssptv.com is the place to book your next professional video production. We have the right tools for the job. Commercials, talk shows, medical, political, weddings, live events and much more. The Socializer 1 can help you with your social media marketing. You can also view any of our SSPTV original shows like SSPTV News, The Sam LaSant Show, The Girls and Out of Left Field. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and connect with us on any of our social media outlets. ssptv.com. Are you ready for your close up? Recently engaged? Good, then we can help. Samson Productions can capture your dream day on video so you can remember it for the rest of your life using multiple cameras and over 20 years of experience. We also have custom pricing. Get in touch with Sam LaSan Jr. at 570-956-8285 or by email at samjr at ssptv.com. See for yourself why so many brides choose Samson Wedding Videos. Sun Productions new website ssptv.com is the place to book your next professional video production. We have the right tools for the job. Commercials, talk shows, medical, political, weddings, live events and much more. The Socializer 1 can help you with your social media marketing. You can also view any of our SSPTV original shows like SSPTV News, The Sam LaSant Show, The Girls and Out of Left Field. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and connect with us on any of our social media outlets. ssptv.com. Are you ready for your close up? Recently engaged? Good, then we can help. Samson Productions can capture your dream day on video so you can remember it for the rest of your life using multiple cameras and over 20 years of experience. We also have custom pricing. Get in touch with Sam LaSan Jr. at 570-956-8285 or by email at samjr at ssptv.com. See for yourself why so many brides choose Samson Wedding Videos. You don't know what I'm going through. Why don't you ever talk to us? What is going on with you? I don't know. Just so down. I just don't care about anything anymore. Depression was hard on me and my family. But it turns out I always had the strength to work my way back. I just needed someone to show me the first step. So I could be me again. <laughs> 